Hi, this is Lauren from Lemon Sky Actions and I'm going to be talking textures, how to add fine art textures to your images in Photoshop to add a lovely fine art feel, um, to add a bit of an edge, to add a grungy edge, a smooth edge, um, to, you know, smooth out backdrops. Textures are great for that if you've got kind of any um, lumps and bumps in your backdrops. They're also really good for getting rid of noise if you've got banding, um, noise or anything like that in your background. A texture can really help break that up. So I'm going to be using the Lemon Sky Fine Art Texture Overlays, but of course you can use your own, you can get them from um, other places, you could even take your own to use in your images. So you come up here, File, Place, and you know, if you've got the Lemon Sky Textures, you will have them up in a window like this. For this image, I'm going to use a blue texture, but I would say 90% of the time use one of the grey monochrome textures. Um, and I will show you why in a minute, but let's use, um, which one shall we go for? Let's go for stone. So there we go, and it places it in a transform box into your image. You can then kind of move this texture onto your image to fill the image as you wish. And there's our texture. Here it is, it's as a smart object. So I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay. I'd say the blend modes you want to use are overlay, soft light, um, which is a bit more gentle than overlay, or multiply, which will darken your image. You can even add a screen which will really brighten the texture up. So I'm going to use overlay. So as we can see now, we have added this texture to the image, but it is covering the whole image. So I'm going to come down here um, to the layer mask box, which is a square with a circle inside, and add a layer mask. I'm then going to hit Control i if you're on a Mac, hit Command-I <coughs> to invert it, and that makes it go black, which means it's invisible. You can get a brush, set it to white, um, on kind of a low opacity and just start painting the texture in. So I'm just loosely painting the texture in around the subject and then you can change your brush to black to paint it away. So white means show the texture and black means make it invisible. So there we go, that's on overlay. You can also change it to soft light which will be a much gentler feel here. So this is a soft light texture. So that's one way of adding textures to your image. Another way, this is a black and white, and I'm going to go straight in for one of the monochrome textures. Um, which one shall I use? Let's use Impact. So here we go, this is a nice gentle texture here. And I'm going to show you several different blend modes with this one. So first off, let's try Overlay. That's what Overlay looks like, and that already looks really cool. Can I delay a mask, get the brush to black, and just brush it off the subject here. So that already, I mean, I really like the look of that texture there. What happens if we change the soft light? So you can see, still there, a lot more gentle. Multiply, now this will darken. So there's a very, very um, kind of cool dark look to the texture here, which adds, you know, a lot of mood to a black and white image. You can zoom in here to get the texture um, off your subject, or, you know, if you, if you like it, if you want the kind of, you know, the old, um, you know, film kind of, feel to it you can have the texture coming in um, around the edges too if you want to. If we set to screen it will brighten the image up quite a bit so that is adding a texture with screen which also looks really cool. So screen, soft light, overlay, multiply. Now how about this one? We can either add a, um, a monochrome texture to this one or we could add um, let's add a portrait filter we could add a warm feel one so let's add a warm feel one because this is quite a warm feeling image okay this is a portrait overlay so this will kind of get rid of banding add some noise um, and add some vignette to your image let's go for soft light so as you can see it's added a nice warm feel and a nice texture in the background there and we can just remove this from the subjects. There are textures every time it is place, um, you know, place embedded or place linked to your image to place it in as a raster. You can also copy it um, and paste it, even if you, um, you can open up the folder of the textures and place them in, drag them in from, you know, straight from their folder. There's lots of ways to get your texture on top of your image, as long as it's a layer above with a layer mask on it, that's fine. How about an outdoor image? How would you add texture to an image which already is very, very busy? Let's see. For this one, I'm going to go for something um, quite interesting. Let's go for uh, let's go for a peel grunge. 
and I'm adding it in monochrome but obviously you can add in one of the colours because that will also look quite cool and let's go to screen so this adds a very interesting effect to your image again I'm going to mask it off and invert the mask so I can paint it in and you can just kind of start painting this around the edges but you'll add a very much old kind of damaged uh, film fill to your image what happens if we go for overlay it really starts bringing out the detail of the texture here, can you see? So this adds almost like a cracked painting fill, which looks really cool. We'll have to go for soft light. Same fill, a lot more gentle. So that is adding textures to your image in Photoshop. You can do so much with these. Um, <laughs> that I really can't explain it in a really short video, a five minute video but um, yeah I hope that helps in how to add textures the various blend modes up here and adding layer mask to paint in um, <coughs> or remove the texture from your subject